Acrotech. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about a new program I found uh, on the internet. Uh, actually, it's more of a service called File AI. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show that today. Okay, so let me go ahead and start off by explaining to you a little bit about the service. Uh, File AI, um, if you type it in Google, you'll find this website here. It is basically a website that lets you send files of any size, uh, folders um, with any number of files in it to any person or any people that you want to, um, absolutely free. Uh, it's really, really great website in my opinion. Um, again, it's 100% free. You don't have to download anything, no file size limits. Um, and the way that they do it is they use a BitTorrent style transfer protocol, uh, which is quite interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it and show you how it's done. So from the web page, obviously click send files. So all you need to do to get started is find the file on your computer that you want to go ahead and use um, or send to your friend or family member, whoever it might be. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a sample video here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it onto the little folder icon that you'll note is on the website. And you can see here it says hashing files and folders, one out of one. Um, and what it's doing is it's uh, acknowledging the file and it's going to create you a link. As you can see here, you have a transfer ID and a transfer link. So really for you, all you have to do is exactly what I just did. It's that simple. Um, and then for the person on the other side, the person who you're sending the file to, all they would do is either click on the link, which you can copy and paste from here, or you can give them the, uh, the code. So I'm going to actually use the code and show you how that's done. So if they choose to use the code, all they would do is simply go to File AI, go to the website, um, click on Receive File, and then you can see here that uh, there's a little link here that says already have a transfer ID to receive from. So I'm going to left click on that. And now I'll go ahead and put in the code that I was given and click continue. And as simple as that was, all you have to do is browse where you want to save the file to. I'll simply select my desktop, choose, and now um, the file is actually being downloaded which is pretty cool and over here you can actually see that um, the host which is the person that's actually uh, has the file right now um, on their computer that you're getting the file from is displayed here and you can see their transfer ID um, you can see the progress of the person on the other end which at this point is 4.5% and how many files is downloaded and you can see that on both ends and basically you just let this run and it'll continue to run until it's finished downloading now one cool thing that I found about this website um, is in case if someone accidentally goes out of the website for instance if the person that you sent the file to exits out of the uh, website, then you'll get a little thing here that says, um, eventually it'll say status closed. And you'll probably see that in a second. So if that happens, all you have to do is leave this tab here open for file AI. And as long as that tab remains open, the file will be available to download um, you know, by anyone basically, and it can be downloaded multiple times if you leave it open. So all the person has to do is come back here, same process, put in the same code, click continue once again, and browse to the same location that they actually browsed you before. Choose, and you can see here that it actually resumes the download from where you last left off. So that's a really great feature there. I find that when I get disconnected, it's pretty annoying that I have to restart the download. And with this software, with this 
uh, service, you really don't have to worry about that. And you can see over here, the, the first little thing here, status closed. And you can see that it's refreshed and it's got the same host, but uh, a new, well, same host, but a new little uh, section here that shows the progress and it started from where it left off downloading. And really that's about all there is to it. Um, it downloads pretty fast, in my opinion. Uh, I downloaded, uh, or rather I uploaded two websites, uh, about a 300 megabyte file. And in about 10 minutes, it actually transferred to my Mac um, with no problem. So I think that it's overall a great website. So uh, hope this helps, and thanks for watching.